हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल सॉल्व प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चंस ऑन फॉरेन करेंसी दैट इज अकाउंटिंग ऑफ ट्रांजैक्शन ऑफ फॉरेन करेंसी क्वेश्चन नंबर वन पास नेसेसरी जर्नल एंट्रीज इन द बुक्स ऑफ एन लिमिटेड ऑफ नासिक अ मशीन वाज इंपोर्टेड ऑन ट्वेंटी जनवरी टू थाउजेंड फाइव फ्रॉम जैकी एंड जैकी चिन ऑफ चाइना फॉर यूएस डॉलर एंड टू लैक्स सो वी हैव इम्पोर्टेड सो वी हैव टू मेक द पेमेंट वॉट एर वी हैव इम्पोर्टेड The payment for the same was made as follows. For two lakh amount, we have made the payment in two installments. That is on twenty seventh February two thousand five and fifteen March two thousand five. The exchange rate for dollar one was as follows. When we imported on the that day, that is on twenty eighth January two thousand five, the rate was rupees forty seven. But When we make the payment on twenty seventh February for one lakh fifty thousand, the rate has gone went forty six point fifty, and on fifteen March two thousand five, the rate was forty eight. So on twenty seven, the rate has been decreased, and fifteen March the rate has been increased. So these two terms we have taken into account while posting the journal entries. As well as one point we have taken into account whether we have imported the material or we have to export the material. So in the given question we have imported. So we have we will compare the rates for making the payments. So if we if we pay more then is a loss. If we pay less it is a profit like that. See the answer number one.